This is a Fox News alert. The illegal immigrant accused of killing a California police officer has been captured, and we're learning this was not his first arrest. Good evening. I'm Brett Baer. The suspect was caught just a few hours ago near Bakersfield, California, after being on the run for two days. Investigators believe he's responsible for the murder of Newman police officer Ron Hill Singh, who migrated to the U.S. legally. In an emotional press conference late this afternoon, the Stanislaus County Sheriff said Singh's death could have been prevented. All this happening as we head into a long weekend with a stalemate in the fight over border security. We have Fox team coverage tonight. Fourth one, Ellison Barber is at the White House where the president is threatening to close the U.S. border. Correspondent Peter Ducey is on Capitol Hill where members of Congress are not. But we begin with national correspondent William Lajeunesse, who's following all the latest developments from Los Angeles. Good evening, William. Well, Brett, just hours ago, police confirmed the arrest of 33-year-old Gustavo Perez Arriaga, an illegal immigrant, confirmed gang member, and two-time convicted drunk driver with outstanding warrants. A California sheriff also confirming the arrest of two other illegal immigrants, a brother and co-worker who tried to cover up the whereabouts of Arriaga as he allegedly tried to flee to Mexico. But under aerial surveillance, a Kern County TAC team intercepted Arriaga near Bakersfield, where he surrendered without incident. Arriaga is the Mexican national who entered the U.S. illegally in Arizona, wanted for killing 33-year-old Ron Singh, a seven-year Newman police veteran who emigrated to the U.S. legally from Fiji. Singh was married with a five-month-old son. He took this photo Christmas Day. Just hours before, he and his canine partner stopped a possible drunk driver. Moments later, Singh radios, shots fired, I'm hit. He died a short time later. Today, his brother Reggie thanked police for finding the alleged killer. He's not coming back, but <laughs> there's a lot of people out there that misses him. <laughs> and a lot of law enforcement people that I don't know to work days and nights to make this happen. Today in a news conference, the sheriff of Stanislaus County threw gasoline on the already red-hot immigration debate by calling Singh's death preventable, blaming the state's sanctuary law for prohibiting police from communicating with ICE about known and wanted felons. Let's go back to Ron, an immigrant, immigrated here lawfully and legally to pursue his American dream. He achieved that goal. And his dream was taken from him. No, we shouldn't politicize it, but we have to have a conversation about restrictive legislation that puts our communities at risk. When you tie our, our hands and don't allow us to work with our federal partners and communicate with our federal partners about people that commit crimes and who are in this country illegally, we're going to have incidents like this. Police arrested three more today for aiding and abetting and say they are helping prosecutors build a case against Ariaga. Arraignment likely next Wednesday. Singh's narcotics dog, Sam, will be retired to live with his wife and child.